Yes, kid. I got a little literally cutting in ice cream. Guys, we have a crazy episode this week. We accomplished an idea we've wanted to do since we were little kids. But before we get into it, we gave away 500 bucks on Sickos TV last week. It's going to Adam LaMarche. Adam LaMarche, we're gonna Venmo you 500 bucks. And this week we're doing another $500 giveaway. All you have to do is sign up to Sickos TV and you'll be automatically entered. Okay. Now Max has something to tell you. you. Guys, let me give you a little grandfather advice. I have never once in my entire life regretted going to a concert. One of my most cherished memories is being able to see Mac Miller live you know, before that unfortunate day. That's why I'm insanely excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. Back in my day, I used to I used to rave to the grave and I would always use SeatGeek to find the best tickets possible. Literally, think, think of any artist that you like right now, they have them. SeatGeek is the number one app in the entire world for buying things like concert tickets, sporting event tickets, and pretty much anything you'd wanna buy tickets. They have a rating system, one to 10, to tell you if you're getting the best price on your ticket. And they're the only app that has the buyer guarantee, which means you can return your ticket before the event, because a lot of Things happen, you know, hey, maybe the friend group splits up and you don't want to go to the ticket. That's okay. SeatGeek has got you covered. And you guys, given all that, we got a code for you. Sickos to get $20 off your purchase. And even on top of that, we're so excited to be using the app that we are going to a concert on June 21st. We're going to Dom Dollar, San Francisco. So if you're around San Francisco area, use that code. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this episode. We will see you June 21st in San Francisco for Dom Dollar using SeatGeek. And with that, we're gonna start this episode. Glacier Lake and it's full of giant icebergs. It's freezing cold and it's a little bit windy and we're trying to go kiting in it because it'd be the sickest thing ever to just be kiting around, jumping up on icebergs. It looks perfect. I mean, look at this. It's insane. The scary thing is, is there's this river here that connects to the ocean. So there's like a current in the icebergs. So if you fell, you could get like sucked under an iceberg and it'd be this most terrifying thing maybe ever. Um, I think this has been a dream of sickos to do since the very beginning. This has been on every idea list we've ever had to kite icebergs and now we're in a place where there's icebergs and water which is crazy because you gotta find icebergs and there's a little bit of wind. This is like meltdown from Ice Age when the sea monsters start grabbing people. It's just like when that when the iceberg turns and you see the scary shark in an Ice Age. That's the, that's the scene. Holy shit guys, it's oh ripping. It's oh ripping. It's, it's a fucking iceberg. Seals on the ice! What? Why did no one look when I said it? And then as soon as Kaden said it, you guys. All right, we're we're rigging up. It's extremely cold, but it's turned out to be really windy. So we're all rigging up our boards and uh, taking our biggest kites. Let's talk about why that isn't good if you got stuck under an iceberg. Well, basically, as team safety project manager for this situation, we're looking at a few key issues. The icebergs are really dangerous, not only because they're icebergs and they're super big and just large objects in the middle of where they're kiting, but also there's a really strong current that pushes them toward these icebergs. So if someone were to get stuck under one, you just get slid straight to the bottom of these deep icebergs. And as the Titanic knows, you really never know how big an iceberg can be. So as a key safety guy, I'm going to just watch and make sure they're okay. And if I see someone go under, I'm going right back after them. I've been planning this film day a lot recently and I've watched a lot of films to cover our ground. Uh, a couple films I've gotten my safety procedures from are Happy Feet, um, there's Surf's Up which is a key one, there's a lot of icebergs in that. So really all of my uh, experiences come from watching these movies and I hope that we can put them to use. Actually I hope we never have to put them to use. Happy Feet's this little penguin who actually turns out to be really good at tap dancing. He doesn't know how to sing but this whole entire flock of penguin friends are, that's their whole thing is knowing how to sing. You he has like a horrible voice, but guess what he can do? He can flip flop his way all the way to the tap dancing hall of fame basically. And that story actually reminds me of a lot of characters here, including Jackson. I can't sing well, but a man I can tap dance. He can. He's a tap dancing <laughs> connoisseur. <laughs> he was until he tore both of his ACLs. <laughs> now he can't sing and he can't. I'm happy dance. to not have ACLs for this one, man. This really? sounds miserable. This is literally my dream. I love seals more than anything on the entire planet, and I like kiteboarding. There are kiteboarding with seals. There's really one right here. Oh my God! There's three right there. I heard they're aggressive. Oh, I don't care, dude. dude Come at me. They're so cute and tiny. How can they be aggressive? It looks like a dog. 
Well, the hog's gonna be really aggressive. Oh, 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 have all their babies in this lake and so they're really territorial and aggressive. I'm not kidding, I could actually see somebody getting bit by a seal. Dude, the worst thing would be if it nips you, but it just so happens to nip your face. Like it is gonna nip you <laughs> anywhere oh, and then yeah, it hits your face. Okay, so it's getting a little sketch because of the wind keeps turning on and then turning off. So there's moments where it's pretty windy and then moments where it's not that windy, which kind of sucks because if you go out when it's windy, then you're in the middle of the lake and the wind turns off. You're just sitting there with the seals and the icebergs. So it's not ideal. All right, we're gonna put our wetsuits on and then try it, I guess. You wanna try to stand on an iceberg really quick? What? Oh, it's like elf, bro. Wait, dude, it literally just snapped. That's crazy. See if you can get Charlie in this channel. Yo! <laughs> oh, yes! Dude, that is so sick. Oh my god. Whoa! That's a big one. Dude, what if every single one of the seals just jumps on the iceberg? <laughs> Rips them apart. Like an ice sword or something? You don't understand. My entire Instagram feed is seal reels. You look like the guy whose entire Instagram feed is seal reels. You guys are walking on thin ice over there. There's only room for one of us. This boat just broke. Dude, are you kidding me? No chance! Oh and I'm coming, I'm coming. Alright. So me and Forrest are just out here before we kite. We're just gonna check the ice. A little feels, bit. And there's a lot of seals in here. And like a lot of seals in here, and they're pretty aggressive. Go, go, go! Because if you spread it out, it makes it harder for it to break the ice. Yeah, it does. So you kind of just got to mosey your way on. It's really funny. We're just literally in like, this is like Minecraft IRL. Yeah, let's break it off. Oh, it's like a little Oh my god. We got a vote, give him. <laughs> Wait, now we need to kick out this way. Put on the put on the rudders. My luck. Stuck in an iceberg in the middle of the Arctic. Just my luck. What are you gonna do? Okay, we got the kite up, and the wind kind of died down, but like it's still maybe doable. I'm just scared to go out in Seal World, dude. I'm scared to go into Seal World. But if the, what if the wind dies and I sink right on their nest? If they don't have nests, dude. Yeah. Oh shit! This is a good gust. Oh! Get out there! Get this I'm guy! Going, I'm going! Get this I'm guy going. on board! Yeah. Who's on telephoto? Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, a fucking killer whale comes out. <laughs> yes, Caden. Say what we're gonna do. Say what we're gonna do. YouTube on, intro. I need, to, I need to make sure my feet fit. Nah, sh fuck your feet. <laughs> Yo! I just break me off. Caden, that's a big seal. That's definitely the boss. Caden, do not drop your kite. Do not drop your kite. Yo, that's the gang. There's tent one. Yo! Who? Caden. Kaden, do not go down in that cold water alone. Uh huh. Bro, that's I don't want. Literally, wanna... exactly where I'm going. Kaden, do not go into Kaden, that cold don't water by yourself. Do, that. do not. Don't do it. We're ice cutting, boy. Nice, nice. Cool. Yeah. Oh, Kaden, he's on. He's on one. Looking like Will. <laughs> okay, here we go. First try. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my 
to jump over an iceberg. This is a just my luck moment. In the last 30 minutes since the boys derigged and I was gonna get out, a completely new ice formation rolled in from the north and it just shut off our channel that we were supposed Wait, to go out on. I don't even know how that got there. Bro, there's a rock. There's like a new, <laughs> somehow like a physical rock. Bro, that's the map just reset. Bro. Dude, the map did reset. How did it even get there? It's all ice. Such a just my luck. Situation. It is just my luck. Just yes. my luck. When I, when the when it's time for me to my kite segment, we fill in with an iceberg. 